Hello, y'all. I'm super excited to dive into this video dedicated to help you go from codependent to interdependent in your relationships. I'm Coach Jeanette from at Jeanette.exito, and I help millennial women heal and break out of the cycle of unhealthy behaviors and relationships. Now, before we dive into the nitty gritty of how to go from codependent to interdependent, let's talk about what codependent is. The way that I like to define codependency is a relationship that holds an unhealthy degree of clinginess or excessive emotional or psychological reliance on a partner which creates an inability for autonomy and independence. Now, being codependent in your relationships can show up in many ways, and it can be extremely draining and emotionally turbulent. And some of the ways codependent behaviors can show up in your relationships is one, constantly doing things for others just because you're afraid to see them uncomfortable. Two, masking or compromising who you truly are because you're afraid of their rejection. Three, feeling the need to be perfect so that they would like you. Four, if a majority of your personality is focused on helping them and being there for them instead of yourself. Five, having a belief that love is transactional and you have to earn it. Six, maybe it's extremely hard for you to make any simple decision for yourself before seeking validation or approval from your partner. Seven, constantly texting or talking to your partner 24-7. And I don't mean texting or talking throughout the day here and there, but always being on the phone with them for hours and hours every single day. And eight, feeling responsible for your partner's emotions. So if they're feeling upset, not only do you feel upset for them, but you also feel the need to fix or change their emotions right away or else you won't be able to feel better. And if this sounds like you, I hear you, I see you, and as a former codependent person, I want to tell you some of the major mindset shifts that I had to take on to go from codependent to interdependent. So instead of thinking, I don't want them to be uncomfortable, so I need to help them solve these issues, I want you to take a second to pause and remind yourself, yes, I care about them and I can help them, but I'm not going to take on their emotions because I'm not responsible to fix their emotions. And when you do this, not only does it allow you to validate your partner's experiences and emotions, but it allows them to grow and learn from it as well. Now for a second mindset shift, instead of telling ourselves, I should just say yes and agree with them because I don't want them to get mad or upset or not like me, I want you to tell yourself, I can disagree respectfully and honor the relationship by showing up authentically. So instead of putting up a facade and saying one thing and meaning another, I want you to remind yourself that being authentic creates long-term relationships. And although it comes from a place of good intentions and you don't want them to dislike you, the truth is if there is no honesty in kindness, then that is manipulation. And the only thing it's going to do by constantly being inauthentic all the time is build resentment. Now, the third mindset shift that I want you to make is instead of telling ourselves, I shouldn't have said that because what if they think it's weird? What if they don't like me? I want you to tell yourself that you are not here to please everyone and you will attract the right people when you can unapologetically be yourself. Fourth mindset shift is instead of telling ourselves, oh no, I didn't text them. What if they don't like me anymore? I haven't heard from them all day. What if they're distancing themselves and losing interest? I want you to remind yourself that it's okay for space in a relationship and it's healthy because it allows us to grow as individuals. And this is specifically true for my anxious and fearful attachments out there who make their relationship their whole world once they get into it. So if you find yourself depending on your partner to fulfill every single need that you have, whether it's safety, comfort, happiness, and you make your partner that sole source, it can be extremely overwhelming and draining for your partner and emotionally turbulent for yourself. Because A, our partner cannot physically and emotionally be there for us 24 seven. They are their own person too. And yes, it's good to have that interdependent relationship where you're able to rely on them in some areas, but we also should be, be able to rely on ourselves and fulfill our needs ourselves. And this means not zoning in the relationship area of our life to fulfill our needs, but also focusing on the seven areas of our lives, which is financial, career, spirituality, intellectual, etc. So this can be hanging out with friends, doing new things, indulging in your hobbies, working on a passion, working on a project, 
anything that fulfills your needs and makes you feel good that doesn't always have to be about you and your partner. And as you start to show up for yourself, you are also showing yourself self-love and reminding yourself that you can always be there for yourself when you need to. Because what happens when your partner is busy one day and they have a lot of things going on in their life? Are you going to make that mean, well, I'm obviously not enough for them because they can't be there for me and I have nothing else to do in my life? No, 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 no. What that means is they have their own life and some days they're busier than others, but how can I be there for myself? How can I be there for them and create this own life where we're both growing and thriving at the same time rather than being in this place of lack and fear and trying to complete each other? Remember, it's all about that balance, so take it step by step. And I know it can be so easy to get stuck in that codependent mindset, but next time you see yourself slowly inching towards that, Take a second to pause and remind yourself of these affirmations. As always, you got this.